sketch a graph and find the magnitude and the direction angle of 5i minus 12j. Is that i the same as the imaginary number i? Nope, not at all. i basically means that this many units in the x-axis direction and j means that many units in the j direction so or the y axis direction so oh, i'm near enough space so why don't i go by fives for these 5 10 15 20 you'll be negative 5 you'll be negative 10 you'll be negative 15. uh if this is going five in the positive direction i'm going to go over here 12 in the negative direction has me ending up somewhere around here. So the picture that I get is going to, boy, that's awful, 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 awful. The picture that I'm going to get is going to end up looking something like that. Now, what does all this mean? What does all this mean? Well, first off, Went right five, went down 12, gives me a picture where I can imagine a triangle that goes right five, down 12. I have to find the magnitude, so let's do that first. Let's call you C, okay? So this is Pythagorean theorem. 12 squared plus five squared equals C squared. 144 plus 25 equals c squared, 169 equals c squared, square root it, square root it, and c equals 13. So the magnitude, the magnitude is going to be 13. What I don't have is the direction angle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna find that angle in blue right there. Now, if let's just say that I get 50, which I don't, but let's just say that I get 50. Does that mean my answer is 50? No, no, not at all. That means my answer is going to be 50 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 270 total because my direction angle is gonna to have to be like 200 or 300 something because it's going in that direction. So what I need to do now is I have theta, 12 and five compared to theta are my adjacent sides and my opposite sides. So I'm thinking so Katoa thoughts, which means that the tangent of my theta is going to equal the opposite, which is five over the adjacent, which is 12. Didn't leave myself enough space at all. So let's just inverse tangent both sides. I know that looks very sloppy, but I'm not gonna rewrite it. Inverse tangent both sides, so that crosses out. Theta equals the inverse tangent of five over 12, which is 22.62. So this guy right here is 22.62. I have to add 270 degrees, because 90, 90, 90. And when I add 270 degrees, that gives me a direction angle of 292.62 degrees. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my magnitude and my direction angle. Cool.